Oh, what's up, guys? Today, it's a wonderful day because we got some new Johnny Booth song is titled Storyteller featuring Oscar Nunez of Karma Versa. Johnny Booth is one of my favorite discoveries from the YouTube channel. Um, you guys, if you haven't heard them, I know this is going to be a banger, okay? They're a five-piece hardcore metalcore band from Long Island, New York, and they are just relentlessly fast and heavy, but also really catchy and riffy. They're everything I love about this style of music, but they're really raw. That's what I really like. They're not processed. They're not very digital. They're a very raw, in-your-face sounding band. So with this new song, we have a video for it. It sounds really sick. I also heard a little bit of Karma Versa before going into this reaction. They sound really sick. They sound really intense too. So buckle up because this track is going to be intense. I think that's all we need for chit chat. So let's fuck do it. Yeah. Uh, crank that shit up. No words, just fucking mosh, dude. Oh, my. <laughs> my voice is shoddy, okay? My wounds are fucked. <laughs> Dude, I have I have no words. I'm just enjoying it. I'm just moshing. Actions speak louder than words, right? Oh. Okay. Now I can process what I've enjoyed. I just love the energy. I love the pacing, dude. The riffs hit hard for me. I guess this is Oscar. <clears throat> it's building up to something, I know it. Oh, that's a cool shot. That vocal. Andrew's killing it. I like this music video too. Just to wait. 
<laughs> oh man I can't woo I can't woo but I can move I can move guys let's talk about the song fuck my mic <laughs> oh dude something about the sound of this band just really really just fires me up um, it's the intensity, it's the aggression, it's the, the flow of the song, but it's also, like I said, that their music is a little bit raw sounding. I love the production. It just sounds live. It doesn't sound digitized or anything. It's just in your face. The music video feels relatable too. It's not them in a warehouse or something. It really feels who they are as a band with a message, but also a song with a lot of emotion and aggression. Loved it. As expected, let's move on to the pros and cons. Number one pro is I love the flow to this track. With Johnny Booth, you never know what you're going to get in terms of flow. But I really liked it how like the first riff had like two sections before we kicked off into the verse. But the verse like had that little like little break section with the main riff with the harmonic before it kicked into the verse. But then the second half of the verse did something weird and then it just did a whole bunch of things until it brought back the intro riff and then after that went into a break section. So it, there was just a lot of things going on that was making it very unpredictable, but also just constantly keeping the momentum going, just keeping it forward, which I really think is something great about this band and also the music. You want a song that just constantly keeps pushing forward, 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 and it does. But then there's that nice break. What are we going to get after the break? You know, it's going to get a bit climactic. If it, if it doesn't happen, it's going to be disappointing. Instead, we got this big emotional grand section before going into the final breakdown. It just, I love the flow to this track. Uh, pro number two is I really like the chemistry between Oscar and Andrew here. Andrew, when he was doing the more melodic, shouty kind of voice after the break section, he sounded really good. His vocals are catchy. I really like the sound of it, the tone of his voice and also the enunciation is important. You can hear what he's like yelling about. But I really like Oscar's like uh, post hardcore style sound of like vocals. And it was just a nice contrast to Johnny Booth. Like, I never heard that style of vocal with a Johnny Booth song, so I thought the chemistry between the two works really well. Another pro is that this band just hasn't lost their edge. They're constantly just super intense, but like taking their amazing sound of their music and just like adding nice little twists and turns and fun ideas here and there, just kind of making their sound their own. Um, I'm so glad that this song, this band is not trying a whole different thing to try to blow up in a different kind of way instead of just retaining who they are because their sound is so fucking good. I really want more people to discover Giant Booth because these guys are just like, they're all, they're really a self-made band in all regards. So they're really putting in the work and I hope that you guys discover Sweet Band here. Anyway, it sounds like I'm finishing the video, but I'm not. Just another pro is the fucking wrist for killer. Drums are awesome. I love the inclusion of the occasional blast beat. Nice break section to really throw you in for a loop too. Production was great. Another pro, okay, music video. I like the music video here, just like in their last song and also even in like Thief and stuff. Um, but I really like this one because it really feels New York. It feels like their city and also it just feels, I like the black and white and the shots of just uh, people. I feel like you don't really need actual context. Like sure, there's like videos of protests and cars on fire and stuff, but it's just the, the visuals say a lot without describing so much, you know? And I think that these kind of videos work really well. So the song is just going, doing its own thing, but the visuals are also striking and it makes you kind of like, um, question what's happening, what's going on, what's going on in the world, what's going on in the state and kind of thing. And I think it's just really cool. It sparks a like, nice little like um, thought provoking uh, thoughts in your head. But anyway, guys, solid song. Let's move on to the cons. I don't have any. This was sick. I really like the future. Giant Boost just does not disappoint. Um, guys, if you enjoyed this song, check out their last record first hand accounts you gotta check out that album i've listened to it so many times and i discovered the band through the youtube channel um seriously one of my favorite discoveries that album is one of my favorite albums i discovered through this youtube channel youtube youtube channel guys i'm talking too much my voice is all shitty right now uh this song is sick but anyway i'm gonna end the video so what is your thoughts on the song so comment down below spice up my life 
Guys, what you think of this song? I'd love to know. Also, if you've gone to this point of the video and haven't clicked off yet, then I appreciate you, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave a like during the video. But on that, stay tuned in. Till next time. Peace.